If somebody asks you, what will an oil do? You can say, well, that's uh, oregano, and it's got phenylpropanoids in it, and it's got this, and it cleanses your receptor sites, and, and it does various things, and you can give them a chemical answer, and that would be a good answer. But the truth is that oil has hundreds of compounds in it. And so if somebody asks you, what will that oil do? You can give them a quantum physics answer and say, what do you want it to do? Because it's just a packet of possibilities. It's really fascinating that we have the molecular science and the understanding today how essential oils do work on a molecular level. That takes away this kind of voodoo feeling and snake oil feeling because now I can really stand there and say, look, I understand what this oil is doing in the brain. I understand what this oil is doing with the cancer cell. Molecular shapes and sizes of the molecules of essential oils are so compatible with our human body and that they fit the receptor sites on the cells so perfectly. So to me that means that these oils who fit us so well and were created before we were created, that God was thinking ahead and thinking of our well-being before he ever created us.